Hi beauties. I uh, waited a few seconds there to um, greet you because YouTube keeps giving me really weird thumbnails and I thought maybe if I stood still just a moment longer it might help, but who knows, we'll find out, right? So uh, I can't choose it for some reason and it won't tell me how to get the account to make it to where I can choose it. So until I discover that jewel, um, I keep having weird thumbnails, so I thought I'd try to make sure I don't have one. So um, today I'm going to show you a natural smoky eye. Um, I have heard that many of you look like a raccoon when you finish a smoky eye, and I thought I would give you a tutorial on how to do a natural looking one, um, and also a simple one because they seem like they're so challenging. You, you start out really nice, and then all of a sudden you look like a raccoon, and you don't know what happened. So. Um, a lot of it has to do with the colors you choose. I know a lot of you are fairer skinned like myself, still darker I know because of all the foundations I make for you, um, but uh, I think a lot of it has to do more with your colors you choose for your smoky eye um, and then how you apply it for your eye shape. So um, for a smoky eye, for most people, black really doesn't look all that good anyways, just to let you know. Um, cause black on eyes doesn't usually look good in general, right? Unless you have a little bit of liner against your lashes to make them look thicker. You don't really want a whole bunch of black everywhere. It's just not natural looking. Um, so logically, black is not the best choice. I like making a smoky eye with a gray, but it's not my favorite as a deep purple. Um, purple is like the magic color for everybody. It really brings out hazel colored eyes. Um, some people have said purple looks like a bruise on them, then you wanna go for the opposite undertone. If you have a purple that looks like a bruise on you, you're using the wrong undertone for your, um, your, my brain just went dead, I'm so sorry. I didn't have much sleep last night. <laughs> you're using the wrong uh, purple for your undertone. So I'm cool undertoned, so I need a cool purple, which is like blue undertone purple. If you're um, warmer undertoned, you may wanna try a warmer purple. Um, more like a red undertone, but it depends because um, a lot of you are warmer undertone and you seem to do really well in my cooler purple. So it may just be go for a cool purple for your smoky eye. It's not typical for smoky eyes, so I don't have research to back that up, um, but I'm about to show you how to do a purple smoky eye that will look natural and really make you look sultry and beautiful. So um, you're going to need Paradise eyeshadow and Faithfulness eyeshadow, and if you want a little bit of liner, you'll want Cleopatra's Coal also. Um, you're gonna need your Exotic Beauty Mascara, and your base eyeshadow brush and a crease brush, and your blush, um, and your lipstick that you would like. I'm going to use Snapdragon Blush and Ardent Beauty Lipstick, and I forgot my blush to hold on. Never fails, I always forget one thing when I do a tutorial. <laughs> I guess it keeps me real, right? So you want your base eyeshadow brush. It's going to be fluffy and thicker. It'll apply your um, eyeshadow more true to color and it will apply it lighter for you. So I'm going to use Paradise eyeshadow. I'm going to dip my brush in the jar Right, you dip it in the jar and then you kind of swirl it around your lid to get some extra off and you pat on your eyelid. I'm going to use a shade basically lighter than my skin tone and then I'm going to blend that in with a really deep purple in my outer corner for faithfulness. A lot of the reasons why smoky eyes look like raccoon eyes is because there's too much dark eyeshadow everywhere all over your eye. That is the basic rule of thumb. <laughs> That's why you look like a raccoon, because raccoons have black all over their eyes, right? Okay, so we don't need to place it everywhere around our eye, just in the right places, okay? So you're going to do both eyes. And it's probably a little quicker just to do one eye for a tutorial, but I discovered for myself, I could not do one eye completely and then the other eye completely. It just messed up my groove. So I'm gonna do it this way for you. So 
This is how I always put on my eyeshadow. I always pat, right? You know that. Um, feels like I need a little bit more here. You can always go back and add more light. In fact, I usually do when I'm blending. I don't know what's happening to my uh, screen right there. Looks like my lighting was funky. Was that because I went forward or back or what? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to need your crease brush. It's going to apply everything a little darker, the way the, the bristles are packed. You're going to dip it in faithfulness and also swirl it around your lid like this. Okay, you're just packing your color in is what you're doing so it doesn't fly everywhere. And then you're going to put it in your outer third and in the crease right here. That's it. Okay, if you want it to appear darker, you can put Pure Eyes Primer on, which is hardly anything. You don't really want to put hardly anything on your finger because you just want to make it tacky and sticky and moist enough to deepen the color of your eyeshadow. You're not actually applying something to your eye much. If you put too much on, your eyeshadow will slide off. I didn't think about adding the primer until just now. If you want, I can go grab it. That might be a good idea, then you can see. You can sweep under a little bit. You can see how much the primer helps. Okay, so there's, this leaves make them even. <laughs> I didn't get the crease on that side. Okay, so let me get my primer real quick. So you take your ring finger and you just tap it in, okay? It doesn't even really feel like you have anything on your finger. I'm gonna tap it right where that's placed, okay? You're just making it sticky and barely moist. If you make it more than barely sticky and barely moist, you'll look great. And then as the moisture starts sticking, or absorbing in, excuse me, your eyeshadow will start sliding, so you don't wanna do that. Okay, so I'm going to apply that again, just so you can see how much deeper it is. See the difference? And don't worry about this, I'm gonna brush it away. It's not a big deal. I'm gonna do the other eye now. So now you can see what a difference the primer makes. I rarely use primer, but that's just me. It's not wrong or right, it's whatever you prefer. I got a lot of things today. That's what happens when you don't get much sleep. So you need your, your dome powder brush to just sweep it away. Okay, so you've got purple. Now, I'm going to take my base eyeshadow brush and I'm going to just feather out where I'm, my darker color overlapped my lighter color. Okay. My favorite way to do it is, um, how would I word this? Sometimes the angle of my fingers or my hands makes it to where this way goes like this. It's angled, see? And this way looks straight up. I prefer the angled look. Um, and it's just the way my hand applies for some reason. Um, so sometimes I blend a little bit this way just to get it to kind of even out. And then you'll want to run it along the edge here. I don't have any um, eyeshadow on here, by the way. I'm just smoothing the edges. Because when you're fair skinned especially, you need the ends blended out. Otherwise, you do look like a raccoon. Okay, so you blended it out. And sometimes you have to go in and just touch up where necessary. I feel like this eye is not doing what I want it to do of course that's what it would do in a tutorial, right? Okay, I'm gonna bring that back under here again to just make your eye look complete and bigger around. Because if you do your smoky eye incorrectly, your eyes look smaller, not bigger. You just like you have black holes in your face. Which, think about it, if you're going on a date and you wanna look nice and sultry. We typically go to a restaurant with low lighting. If you go to a restaurant with low lighting, you have a lot of shadows. 
If you're in the shadows, why do you want to put a lot of dark makeup on your eyes? You look like you have black holes. Okay, so that's why I pair it with a light color because it really adds depth to your eyes and it really makes your eyes stand out when you go to a restaurant that has low lighting rather than um, a restaurant that has a higher lighting, you could actually get away with darker makeup. I used the same concept as a long time ago when we had powdered wigs. Um, people who had lots of hair didn't wear a powdered wig. They powdered their hair. And they did that because when they had their nice huge balls, um, they didn't have much lighting and it was all candlelight. And you couldn't see when people had dark hair and dark eyes and dark clothing, it was really difficult to see them. So they would powder their hair and that would make them show up more. So um, I use the same concept for when I'm doing my eyes. I love old Victorian style anyway, so um, I love history like that in fashion. It's just uh, really interesting to me. So um, anyways, that's the rabbit trail. I started thinking about a whole bunch of other fashion things just then. So that's where we're at here with the purple. Now I'm going to take, because I love adding a liner to make me look more finished, you're going to tap it in your lid, you're going to take your smudge brush, and you're going to smush it into the crumbs in your lid, and you're going to stamp on your lashes, right at the lash line. Just going to make your lashes stand out more, your eyes stand out more. Because when you have a darker color eyeshadow on, your eyeliner is not going to stand up much anyways. Your eyeliner, excuse me. Did I say that right? I don't even know. Your eyeshadow, when it's dark, your eyeliner is not going to stand out as much. I said it right that time. So again, you're going to just stamp it along your lash lid, your lash line. like I can't see what I'm doing. This light up ahead just blinds me. I don't know any other way to do it though. Excuse me while I go make sure that this is lined properly. So I thought I had some purple under my eye I couldn't see. <laughs> black liner also adds a smokier look. Okay, so I'm back now. I already have a little bit of mascara on already. Actually, I'm wearing alabaster foundation and perfectly flawless mineral veil and hot cocoa for my brows. Um, so I have my, my lashes kind of primed already with some mascara already on. Been running errands today. Boy, I must have turned on this light too bright or something, or maybe I have it not set up in the same place I always do in comparison to my camera, because, man, I feel like my eyes are really sensitive to the light today. I have black crumbs right here. Get those taken away. As long as you can see what I'm doing, right? That's always important. But I can't see what I'm doing, so. That's not helpful, is it? If you want your lashes to look more bold and more exotic, use the tip of your mascara and grab them. Make clumps out of your lashes, okay? Let me put on my lipstick. You always do your lipstick next. You do your cheeks last. That way it assures that you have a more natural look. I'm going to use Ardent Beauty. My new favorite neutral. And fancy color. You make your X or your V or your heart or whatever you want to call it. Press down and make sure that there's a nice clean line. Put on however much you want. Now you can 
do your blush. I always tap mine into the lid so I don't put on too much that I'm fair skinned. You may not have to do that if you're not as fair skinned. I just hate to put on too much blush. I don't want to look like a clown. I just want to look pretty, right? Okay, now that feels a little clownish. So I just take my Kabuki brush that has leftover foundation and I just blend over it. Okay. And I can't tell if it's the lighting or what, but that side didn't get quite as much. Okay. My hair is down for this tutorial. I love my hair down. I always wear my hair down when, my, when I'm fancier. So I'm going to put some more mascara on. Let me see what I'm doing here. With the darker eyeshadow behind, if you really want to play up your lashes, because the mascara is dark and your eyeshadow is dark, so you really want to play it up. So that's what I'm trying to do so you can see. I'm having a hard time seeing it in my screen because of the way the light is. And the fact that I have dark shadow behind the lashes. Okay, can you see? Oh, we can. <laughs> what if I come up here? Does that make it easier? That made it easier for me, now I can see. I bet that means you can see too. It's pretty bad when you have, you're so short you have to stand on your toes when you're making a tutorial. <laughs> right? Okay, so there's your smoky eye look. You can go even darker purple, you can use dark gray, you can use black, but again, um, black is not a natural looking color on skin, unless you want to look like uh, you have shadows or something. That's really the biggest thing. It doesn't even look like a bruise, it looks like a shadow, very dark shadow. Again, especially in low lit restaurants where you're trying to look nice and beautiful for your husband or whoever you're going out with. Um, we ladies always want to look pretty, right? We don't want to look like we have huge shadows under our eyes. At least I don't. <laughs> and that's easy for my shadows to show up because I am very white, as you can see. <laughs> Especially where the light is. <laughs> always manage to get mascara on at least one strand of hair when I'm putting it on. So there you go. Your natural smoky eye look. Go wow someone today, right? <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know how this look works for you. And remember that beauty is more than skin deep. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.